video, man. This young Chris Duque. Before we start this video, we need y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification button so you know every time I drop a video, you be the first one to see it. Now, today, y'all know who we got? Chicago native right here, fam. Uh, Lose Osama. I made it. A future music video. Now, y'all know me, bro. Early on uh, in my YouTube career, I have done... Uh, Lil Zay Osama, one of the best rappers that's come out of Chicago. Uh, I still listen to his music almost every day, bro. I listen to a lot of Chicago music. I can't just stop playing Chicago. I've been listening to Chicago music since 2014, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's part of me now, you know what I'm saying? Lil Zay, I've been rocking with Lil Zay since 2018, so, you know, <sighs> Nigga nice, bro. And now look at it. He got a, I see a big crib. I don't know if this shit just with uh, looks, views, whatever. But uh, if this is his crib, this crib is sit nice as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You on like that type of status yet? Like, like a dark, like Lil Dark is a superstar. Don't get me wrong, bro. Like you, you are all star. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, gang. I'll be real with you. You, you want to? You, I, I ain't gonna say favorite rapper, but definitely listen to you all the time, bro. Like you, you don't have to nigga out a lot in your music, but to, to say that you're a superstar is that's a reach, nigga. That's a reach like a motherfucker. Like, like the young boy is all is a superstar. Dirk is a superstar. Drake is a superstar. J Cole's a superstar. Like, like I'm naming niggas with status like that. That's big as shit. Nicki Minaj a superstar. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really say you a superstar yet, fam. Like, you gotta like you. You still gotta. You still got. You got. You got ways, man. You got ways. Don't get me wrong. You nice. But to say you a superstar is a fucking reach, nigga. I, I can't, I can't sit here and, and and give you that, my nigga. I can't. Reach for it, I ain't there. I'ma die for it, I swear. My lifestyle not fair. They think I don't, but I care. Everything a nightmare. My mama told me I'm scared. Get out the hood, I'm there. I made it out the trench. I ain't been broken a minute. In LA, fucking on them bitches. Ain't gonna recall in a minute. Ain't rock cheap clothes in a minute. Out of my dentist, they ain't believe me, hurt my feelings. Her relationships, I can't recant. Beef over these hoes who turn it to my name. I don't think I heard that last 10 minutes, bro. That shit. That nigga was speaking some real within that last 10 minutes. He was speaking real within the whole 30 seconds, but that last 10 minutes of it, bro, he was speaking some real. Ain't rock cheap clothes in the men. Can't cut teeth out of my dentist. They ain't believe me, hurt my feelings. Her relationships, I can't recant. Beef over these hoes who turn it to my name. on I feel like, yeah, the beef over these hoes, niggas do be doing that. I feel like that's that, that shit is ass whack. That's lame. I feel like niggas gotta stop doing that. I feel like once you make it and shit, certain relationships, certain ties, that that, that suffers. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause bro, once you once you make it to you know, the status where you at, like where you get to riches, bro, like even getting two million in the bank to me feel like you made it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's not enough money. That's a lot of money to me. That's a lot to, for anybody because you can really live off of two million dollars. You know what I'm saying? If you just spend the money right and don't try to blow it on shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, I feel like once you once you make it up to that status, bro, like I said, you got to watch out who you who you cool with. You know what I'm saying? Watch these fake females because they, they will set you up. Niggas will set you up too. So you just got to you just gotta watch your back. You know what I mean? Work for spending, roof crits on me for dinner. I went with all my siblings. They say I'm the hood Bible. They say I'm the hood idol. I made it out my hood and ain't going to marry an idol. I really hurt my rival. Cop paid off, I got titles. Fuck up, bitch, fuck that title. I grew up with no guidance. I drive cars with no license. Me and Rock you for lifers. G lock on me, no fight. Think about it, bro. It was probably gonna be another statistic. And actually, he was at first thing until he made it until he made it his own way. You gotta think about it, bro. When you grow up with no father, or whatever, bro, they all they all they automatically deem that you're not gonna make it because you know what I'm saying. You ain't really got no guidance. Like, cause as a as a as a little boy, you know what I'm saying. As a little boy, you you do need a father in your life, bro, because you know your mother can only help you so much, bro. But she don't know what you're going through because she's not a she's not a little boy. You know what I'm saying. She's a grown woman, two different genders. 
You know what I'm saying? Women think differently than men think. So when a woman thinks she can raise a man, it's, it's funny to me. It's really funny to me because a, a woman can't raise a man because if she does try to raise a man, niggas become bitches as in when I say bitches, I mean like as in like the attitude, you know what I'm saying? They mental, everything they think is, is so wired, so fucked up because they ain't supposed to think like that. You know what I'm saying? As a man, bro, you, you know, you supposed to supposed to be tough, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't supposed to have, you ain't supposed to have a man show his feelings, bro, is a dangerous man. Like, when I say a dangerous man, like, you don't want a man go off his emotion because all, if a man go off his emotion, bro, it's normally kill. You know what I'm saying? As a woman go off their emotions, it's not killing. They just so sad that they're going to get over it eventually. As a man, it's hard to get over some shit like that, bro, because a man really don't know how to deal with losses like that. So when they take, when they deal with, when, when they got too many losses, they like, fuck it, bro. It is what it is. I'm going to go murder niggas. You know what I'm saying? They take me out, they take me out. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want that happy that's why i said man a lot of men should never like grow without their dads or whatever you know what i'm saying or like women need to get i don't know bro if you know a nigga dead beat bro make him if you know the father ain't gonna be there bro put around some some guys that's 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 a mentor you know what i'm saying like an uncle somebody bro somebody that's a dude that you that, that that's a man that you know that's that's gonna do your son right or whatever you know what i mean rappers I listen to from Chicago like and my thing is like I said like him being a superstar I really don't see that shit you know what I'm saying but like everything else like, yeah bro he done made it he definitely made it I'm not knocking him off that shit bro he made it bro he I, I don't count niggas pockets none of that I just go off the start I'm like I don't feel like you there yet but you definitely like your foot's in the door you're an established artist bro like you're a big artist don't you bro like you're a big artist as in saying like you're not a small artist but you're not a superstar for that niggas are still asking for future to put you up there you know what I'm saying and like I said like bro you, you nice bro like if niggas say that you ain't nice, bro, <laughs> them niggas don't know rap, and they suck, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Lil Zay, bro, you got to another one, bro. You actually, like I said, I like all your music, bro. You, you make a couple bad songs, but a few bad songs, I ain't gonna lie. But it don't matter, bro. Man, it, it doesn't weigh out the bad, the good songs you make, bro. You make a lot of good songs, bro, that, like I said, like, that helped me a lot in my, you know, my time healing, you know what I'm saying? When the nigga was down, you know, I listen to your music, so... You know, you done helped the nigga out, bro. So, like I said, bro, I'm always giving you your props, bro. Fuck with you, fam. You know what I mean? But anyway, man, if y'all like everything I said from the beginning to the end, y'all gonna like this video, share this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on that post notification button so you know every time I drop a video, you be the first one to see it. All right, y'all, I'm in this young Chris K, man. I'm out. Peace.